Please welcome to the podium, the senior pastor Kingsway International Christian Center, Pastor Matthew Ashimalowa. Praise the Lord, everybody. Wherever you are tonight, hear the sound of my voice. Please raise one hand towards heaven as a point of contact the Holy Spirit. Omnipotent power of mercy and grace. Spirit of the living God. Pour out your grace here tonight. Bless your people beyond measure. Let the word of life come into our lives. Let healing be done. Let deliverance be done. Save souls, Lord. Amen. Deliver people, Lord. Amen. Open our eyes. Amen. Open our ears. Amen. Help us to hear from heaven. Amen. Silence the voice of darkness. Amen. To the glory of your name. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Shout your massive amen. amen. All right, while you're still standing, sometimes. You don't wait for an outpouring, for an outpouring of your own rain. You create one yourself. How many are ready to create the rain? So take one finger and beat your hand. Just small rain. It is little worry rain. Two fingers now. The rain is increasing. Now. Put three fingers now. Put four fingers now. Kai, this rain is increasing. The rain of favor is falling on me today. So let it fall. Even let it overflow. I can't Jehovah. Now make it five fingers, five fingers. I got Jehovah name. Father, let your hand do something awesome in our life today. Let your name be glorified. There are things that there, there's nothing we can do without you. Only you can heal the sick. Only you can save souls. Only you can set the captives free. Without you, we are nothing. But in you, we are more than conquerors. Oh! Let people go with a new testimony. Let your name be glorified. Jesus' name. Now create some thunder with that hand again. Thunder. Serious thunder. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Such a great joy privilege and a honor to come and minister to you trust in the lord that i will be a blessing to you in the name of jesus and first of all celebrate our regional head in this area the assistant continental overseer want to bless the lord for pastor sunday Akunde. please put your hands together and celebrate our father and the lord bless the lord for him give god a praise I want to thank God for his wife also who is a blessing to us tonight because she's here. I believe people like this carry grace. When you see the move of God because a guest preacher came, it's not just the grace the preacher is carrying. It is a combined grace that is on the platform. So I'd like you to help me celebrate and all the AGOs who are here tonight. Please help us, help me celebrate all our fathers who are on the altar. Bless the Lord for them. And what shall I say about Pastor Emmanuel and his wife? You see, look, look. I travel a lot and I fly all over the world to preach. Before coronavirus, my annual ticket was $400,000. That tells you that it's too much. Make I stay home small. And there are places I go, I don't want to go back. But there are places I go and I can just tell the spirit of the man of God there. Pastor Emmanuel and his dear wife. God has exalted them, yet they are one of the humblest you have ever met. So put your hands together. Help me celebrate Pastor Emmanuel and his wife. Come on, thank God for them. 
Stand on your feet and shout, we thank you. We celebrate you today. May the Lord bless you richly. And may he continue to enlarge your course. And make your children a testimony. In the name of Jesus. And may your children be a hundred times more than you. God bless you, sir. God bless you, ma. You may be seated, everyone. Uh, I've written 108 books. They will bless you. This one is for young people who are here tonight. It's called The Creative Edge. The 21st richest people on the earth right now have no factory. They just have idea. Facebook is just an idea. It's not a book. It's not a face. It's just an idea. It's just a place to meet. And it has become worth something like $600 billion. My, I mean, Apple is just producing iPhone and iPad. I bought my wife's iPhone, my son's iPod, and iPay. You see, it's, it's now a one trillion dollar business and they don't produce anything great. It's because of creative edge. Google is the biggest company on earth right now. It is rated the number one company on earth now. What is Google? It's just a search engine where if I want to know more about Pastor Emmanuel, I just Google. <laughs> anything you want to know, you Google. <laughs> Waiting to happen for a phone, you Google. Ekma, you Google. This is the days of Googleization. <laughs> and it's now the wealthiest company on earth. And it's just a search engine. Just creative idea. There are such young men in this house. God is going to raise creative people from this house. Shout amen like fire. My message tonight is on exponential success. So when I'm ready to preach, get ready because you also will enter that level. I'm the only one on earth who has produced a prayer Bible. It has 15,000 prayer points. There are other books there. You can get them. Let me not spend time talking about books. But they will bless you. I said they will bless you. So tonight, get ready. Get ready was blessed by the ministry of Big Bolaji. Please put your hands together for him. <laughs> Pastor Emmanuel didn't know. Maybe it's the Holy Spirit that is organizing it. Mommy Akande is from my village. Big Bolaji is from my village. I don't understand this spiritual conspiracy. <laughs> so the Holy Ghost is up to something. God bless you, Paul. I put your hands together for him again one more time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. Is that a C sharp? Is that a C sharp? All right, thank you. Give me that C sharp. Praise God. For you are glorious. And worthy to be praised, you the Lamb upon the throne, and unto you we will lift our voice in praise, you the Lamb. Us ministry, like I said yesterday night at Covenant of Covenant Nations, Pastor Bojo Yemadi, power of God hit that meeting. And later he testified, he said they've been having this year conference, Wafbeck, West African uh, Word of Faith conference. And they've not seen that kind of move concerning healing. Even me, I just saw that it was just God wanting to surprise us. I told you about the child with two holes in his heart who was healed. 
that same night after praying for people all kinds of uncommon healings took place there was a lady with HIV HIV power of God hit her when I said and every other sickness disease that I did not mention be healed she went to the laboratory for them to check her when they did a test they told her she's HIV free the lady was not satisfied she went to the second lab they said her, you have no HIV she went to the third lab she went to the fourth lab until the seventh the seventh one said madam stop wasting your money there is no HIV in your body I want you to know the God who can heal her without any hand laid will touch someone here tonight <laughs> you see because the anointing is dissipated in words it's not just in the laying on of hands so wherever you are tonight even the health issues I want to call I'm not going to call them to come out but I believe they'll be healed where they are I was about to travel out of London I was in the in the lounge of Virgin Atlantic a lady walked up to me and said you came to our church Covenant Nation but Joe Yemadi she said before you came I had such a bad back that I came to London for operation even after the operation it became worse but that night I don't know what it is the power of God went through me and since then I can't find that back pain anymore tonight somebody will have a testimony I said you will have a testimony the healing power of God will touch you and you will never be the same anymore every year nowadays I go to Ghana to hold a crusade with some people I'm studying the way they do their crusade because that's the next phase in my ministry um, it's a crusade that is very different holding crusade distributing food and clothing in the morning and afternoon and farming equipment because it's rural crusade and then miracle crusade at night that's what they did they were doing and I began to go with them every year for the past five years they called me their senior evangelist I told them no I'm your senior student because I'm studying the way you are doing it they have the result with all due respect that the late Reinhard Bonke did not have because when they go they distribute close to 30,000 food to 30,000 and then when it's miracle night it is unbelievable one of the nights the power of God hit the place there was a lady 32 she had never spoken never heard boom power of God hit her she began to speak she began to hear she began to speak she began to hear there was a 16 year old boy same thing deaf and dumb pow power of God hits him he began to speak he began to hear he was screaming hallelujah hallelujah Jesus hallelujah his mother was crying we said mama why are you crying she said this is my son since he was born he had never spoken he never said a word today he's saying Jesus hallelujah and she's crying oh the same power is here today <laughs> Hebrews 13 8 Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever the third healing that took place there that really amazed me twin girls 11 years old three they, no not twin girls three triplets three of them triplets all deaf and dumb I've never seen that kind of collective captivity before power of God hit one of them she began to speak and hear that night somebody give Jesus a clap of it told the mother to bring the remaining two the next day but we didn't see her but one of them began to speak another lady who received healing demonic attack she was cooking she turned to carry something to put to the things on the fire as she turned to do this she could not turn back so for three months she was walking like a crab until that night when Jesus comes the tempter's power is broken when Jesus comes, the demons fly away. He breaks the gloom and fills the life with glory. All is well when Jesus comes to stay. Power of God hit this girl. 
she became totally whole she began to walk well she began to testify you will testify tonight the last testimony before I pray for those people whom the Lord showed me their health issue is a soldier a Ghanaian soldier who was part of Ekomog to Liberia enemies were chasing him he jumped from 60 feet and broke both legs could not walk healed a little bit before he came to the crusade was having to use crutches to move at all cannot rest on the leg the power of God touch him that night this soldier put aside the crutches and began to walk with his leg I tell you tonight Jesus is the answer the Bible says who has believed our report unto whom is the arm of the Lord revealed he was wounded for our transgression bruised for our iniquity the chastisement of our peace was upon him by whose stripes we were healed Matthew chapter 12 verse 17 that it may be fulfilled which was written by the prophet Isaiah that he himself he didn't send Gabriel he himself he did not send Michael he himself took when he took took means he's already took you know if he took it he took it it's no longer yours glory to God he himself took oh I declare today someone is receiving their healing I said you are receiving your healing I declare you are receiving your healing I'm going to mention just about three or four health issues which the Lord showed me first one and don't worry don't get embarrassed because of the people beside you just connect your faith and believe God for your healing I'm not gonna call you out because of time because I want to minister to the generality of the people and like I said <sighs> anointing is dissipated in words in fact I remember preaching for a young pastor Felix is actually from Delta in southern Johannesburg and that night the power of God was so awesome there was a young lady as I was speaking she put the phone on so that her dad who is on the wheelchair at home will hear when we're praying for the sick and the father got out of the wheelchair are you ready tonight the first case the Lord showed me was that somebody's in the service today who has been having epilepsy God is going to heal you because even medicine have not yet cracked epilepsy but God is going to heal that person and they'll be totally delivered if you are the one wherever you are you need to stand up there's somebody here also number two who has shoulder blade problem in other words the bone of your shoulder you've had massive problem it is so painful that many times you don't even know what to do you can't sleep all night if you are the one get up number three there's somebody with problem with their stomach I see a swollen stomach and I see a problem with your bowels and I believe that tonight is your healing night if you are the person you need to stand up the fourth person the left eye is gradually going blind and God wants to heal your eye tonight if you are the one you need to stand up and believe God there's somebody here you also have a swollen stomach not just a problem with your bowel but a swollen one I saw somebody with swelling so if you are the one you need to get up the next person a swollen feet your your feet swell it swell it swell up if now you make you get up and the last one the last one person have been having miscarriages and one was recent God is bringing an end to that miscarriage I said God is bringing an end to that miscarriage I said God is bringing an end to that miscarriage if you are the one I have described I want you to begin to get up wherever you are and get ready for your healing because God will heal you power of God will touch you I said God will touch you I repeat God will touch you I want to be sensitive to you and that's why that's why I want you to stand up wherever you are thank you Jesus thank you Jesus is there anybody on the ground floor here 
who has a problem with one ear one prop one ear you can't hear properly with that ear where's the person you can't hear properly with the ear if you're on the ground floor here I don't want somebody who's far thank you Jesus if you are here let me see your hand raise your hand if you are the person or if you're on the top floor and you can't hear properly with one ear if you are here let me see or let the ushers you are you the one come I pray for you healing rain is falling down you know that one thank you madam look at me look at me what's your name Christy ah okay three people no more there's no more Christy how long have you had problem with that ear when I was small why you fell down which of the ears the left ear how much can you hear with it little or nothing you hear with this one Christy Christy what Abogeta. is that an Isoko name or Urobo Eh? which one which one is it Isoko or Urobo all right stretch your hand towards this altar everybody spirit of the living God heal Christy tonight power of God touch Christy loose the tosia maloshitae debosa retokapaliduski didaba you foul spirit of deafness come out from today here with this ear Jesus name are you the usher help me to come stand here Christy block the good ear with one finger so Christy thank you Jesus Jesus name have you blocked it don't look at me oh Christy say whatever you hear me say Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Healing rain. Healing rain. Healing rain. Healing rain. Come close, Christy. We're going to pray for 100% here in this time. Mirosha. You have children? You have children? Young? Father, tonight, 100%, this year to open. Loose! Total victory. In Jesus' name. Block the good ear. Put your finger inside it so that she can't hear with that. So, Christy, you say whatever you hear me say. Take the mic. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come and give Jesus a bigger clap offering. Give him a bigger clap offering. Give him a bigger clap offering. Block that good ear again. Block the good ear. Take the mic, say whatever you hear me say. We're going to test how far you can hear. Amen. 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 For you are the glorious and worthy to the head of all the Christy, you can hear with the ear now. You can hear with it now. Yes, sir. You can hear with it now. Yes. And since you were a child who couldn't hear with it. No. Wow. I can't see 
I can see your children, but I cannot see your husband. Where is he? Where is your husband? He went to work. Okay, but you are together. All right, I'm good. Because sometimes when you don't see the husband, you're still there. Kata, kata, there somewhere. But thank God. Lord, bless this woman's home. Bless this woman's home. Bless this woman's home. Give them a common testimony. Jesus' name. Come on, give you can go give Jesus a clap offering tonight. Oh, Tishi Sherebo. Baba Shela Shepe. Oh, Tishi Sherebo. Layemi. Baba Shela Shepe. God bless you, Christy. You can go. Young man, look at me. Which of the ears? This one. How long has it been that way? For a very long time now. Two years, five years, ten years, twenty. You can't say, but you've not been hearing with it. How old are you? Thirty-two. What's your name? David. Spirit of the living God. Heal David tonight. Set David free. Power of God to touch you. Every oppression you have experienced in life is broken from today. Your ear. Father, we take authority. I release the power of the kingdom of God and David today. Loose! I release the power. Maybe Doshiaka. Loose. Heal. Jesus' name. David, say whatever you hear me say. Amen. Amen. I need a male usher so that we come here, come here, come here, come here. Put your finger in the good ear very well. Well, it's now two good ears, so let's not say good ear alone. David, say whatever you heard me say. Amen. Amen. Speak out loud. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. David Agogo. Praise the Lord. No, no, put the mic, put the mic. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm blessed. Highly favored. I'm a champion. I'm winning. Lord, perfect what you started in David's life. Total health, total healing. What did you study? History and international studies. Because I saw you as if you are in a stagnant place and things are not moving. But from today, I pray for you. Let the doors open. Let the favors flow. Let the doors open. Let the favors flow. Let God connect you with men and women who will help you. The testimony of Jesus to follow you. Jesus name I'm one person who is discouraging people from jumping all over overseas nowadays but what I see about you is that your destiny is connected to another nation so get ready the door is going to open God bless you David bye bye praise the Lord Adam which of the ears this one how long 21 years oh goodness since 1985, that's 26 years. We believe God for you. 26 or 36? 36 years. What happened? I was sick then. You were sick. What kind of sickness? I don't, I don't, I don't really know. I don't All right, everyone stretch your hand towards this woman. I want you to pray for her yourself. Come on. Lift your voice and begin to pray for her healing. 
Come on, dear Ababosha, Kayada. Healing rain has fallen down. Healing rain has fallen down. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Healing rain is falling down. Healing rain is falling down. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid in Jesus name get up get up what's your name again what's your name Lizzie. Lizzie spirit of the living God power of Jesus he Lizzie tonight loose your foul spirit entity I take authority over you today I command you to leave Leave from today. Leave from today. I take authority. I enact the authority of Jesus over you. Loose! In Jesus' name. Amen. Lizzie, open your eyes. Lock the good ear. Just follow the instruction, okay, Lizzie? Say whatever you heard me say. Say whatever you heard me say. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Father, perfect this healing. You foul demon entity, you have no right anymore from today. No more loss of hearing. But clarity, 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 clarity. Loose! In the name of Jesus. Lizzie, the Lord Jesus has healed you, but you say what you hear. Lock the good ear again. Lizzie, say whatever you heard me say. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. to God. Somebody give Jesus a clap offering. Perfection from today. Total healing from tonight. Total health from tonight. These ears are open from tonight. You will not go back to yesterday anymore. Clarity of hearing. Total health. 36 years of not hearing is broken from today in the name of Jesus. Shout amen like fire. Shout amen like thunder. And I pray for your family. I pray for health. I pray for joy. I pray for restoration of some things you have lost. I don't know what you lost. But I'm praying restoration right now. Restoration. If I help me block the format this year. As I'm praying for her so she can be saying the amen with the new, new good ear. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Amen. May you be favored. Amen. May you be above. Amen. Never under. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, come up. Oh, come and give Jesus a bigger clap offering. Give Jesus a bigger clap offering. One of the reasons I pray for the people to believe God for the ear to open is that once that happens before you, then you know I don't even need to lay hands on you where you are, that the power of God is here and you will heal. Every health issue we have mentioned remains standing. We're about to pray for you. The prayer is going to be a short one. And I believe God that you will be delivered. You'll be set free. And God will give you a testimony. I said God will give you a testimony. Tonight, Jesus. Tonight, Jesus. Tonight, Jesus, tonight, Jesus will lay a hand on that person with epilepsy. 
you epileptic spirit we rebuke you Amen. We command you to go Amen. get out in the name of Jesus Amen. shoulder blade problem be healed from tonight Amen. bowel problem be healed from tonight Amen. I lay hand on that left eye that could not see I command total healing Amen. you will not go blind Amen. you will see Amen. you will see and the woman I saw who was having miscarriage, it was as if the child was advanced. Tonight, miscarriage ends in your life. Miscarriage ends in your life. The person with the swollen feet, I lay hand on your feet, I command total health right now. Total health right now. Total health right now. In the name of Jesus, you will have a testimony. And Father, every health issue in this building today, I lay hands on such people. I command it turn around. Amen. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. There's a man in the building, he has prostate problem. Sometimes prostate problem, you go to go toilet, you go to peace, 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 you know this talk or other issues. Or you know even feet, peace, where we're safe. Whatever it is, tonight I lay hands on that man with a swollen prostate with the issues receive your healing be delivered in the name of the lord be delivered in the name of the lord the lord jesus sets you free jesus name shout a good amen. amen come on let's give jesus a clap offering for all those whom he healed tonight bless him bless him bless him just gonna pray for these people quickly i'm not gonna ask you to come out because of time I need to be sensitive. Your name is Patricia. I don't know if you are here. Patricia, stand up. Patience, stand up. Joe, stand up. Ambrose, stand up. I don't know. There's a Fumi or Fumi K or something like that who is here tonight. If that's your name, stand on your feet. It's your day of favor. I'm supposed to pray. What's your name, man? Patience. Hey. Patricia. <laughs> this is Holy Spirit. We just have to learn to walk with him. Hallelujah. Where is Fumike? And where is uh, Ambrose? Where is Joe? Where are all those names? If they are your name, I'm not going to lay hand. I'm just going to pray favor on you. Come out quickly. Come out quickly. Come, 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 come. If you are the ones whom I have called. It's your night of favor and it's your night of blessing. Please, if it's not your name, don't come home. Don't say, I just want to collect. No, come collect, I beg. Like you know, come collect. What's your name, madam? Patricia, what's your name? Patience, what's your name? Huh? Hey. Patricia, ah, how come so many Patricias in this service today? Oh, goodness. What's your name, ma'am? Patience? Patience. Ah, what's your name, ma'am? Ah, ah, patience? Huh? Patience? Patience? Hey, hey, Patricia, where is uh, Joe? Where is Ambrose? Where are those guys? Where's Joe? Where's Ambrose? Where's Funke? Oh, you have Funke? Is it Funke or Fumike? Huh? Funke? Oh, wow. Yeah, because when I was writing, I was thinking, okay, whatever the Holy Spirit says. What's your name? Patience, what's your name, sir? Favor. I know God favor. <laughs> come, 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 come. Stay there. <laughs> I said, it's the idea of favor. So, Google, you just come. I like you. I like you. I like you. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Joe. 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 Ah, all right. Patience. What's your name, ma'am? Patience. Ah. Patricia, Patricia. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Just let me play. Just play. Just play. Just play. Thank you, Jesus. It's your day of favor. Look at me. Every time God gives me a name, it is because God wants to favor those people and he wants to do something most unusual and he wants to turn something around in their life. He wants to wipe tears. I don't know why my spirit picks you up, so you come. Come here. Stand here. What's your full name, ma'am? Patricia Omani, you have all sicker. Your grandmother, 
जो है ग्रैंड मदर Which of your children does not live in worry? Many. How many you be, you born? Eighteen. Sixteen. Six. Ah, I thought you say you born sixteen. I was wondering if you want from another continent. But there's one who is living very far, maybe another country. Okay, not in another country. Asaba. Okay. The remaining are here. Kalaba, who, who, which one have children? I see one who have children. Oh, it's in this meeting. And I don't want to call them tonight. Put your hand in my hand, Father. Intervene in the life of this woman. Turn things around. The pain she went through in the raising of her children. Let today be the beginning of new healing, the beginning of favor and restoration. Everything she lost, let there be a restoration. Let joy come to her life. Minister to her children, lift them up, make them a testimony. In Jesus' name, this other lady, this one which who has love on her shirt, come here. What's your name? What do you do? Into business. Lift your hands. Amaledo shekabara ekapo kosoya nika brosi. You are operating in a small place whereas the grace of God on your life is bigger than where you are. Today I declare and decree into your life. God opens doors for you to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. I don't know who owes you money, but I send the Holy Ghost after them. I send the Holy Ghost after them. I send the Holy Ghost after them. And possess what belongs to you. I release grace on your life testimony to fill your mouth in the name of Jesus and the Lord said to tell you you have sown seed and you have one that I've sown and sown and sown and I have not seen the result you don't have to just keep saying that just wait at the time you didn't expect a harvest is coming all right everyone at the altar lift your hand father in the name of Jesus I declare to the life of this man and woman who have come out that you the Lord will lift them up uncommon testimony follows them Breakthrough beyond measure. From today, a change comes to your life. A change comes to your life. Thank you, Lord. Take all the glory, all the praise. Jesus, this one, this lady here, you're single? Come here. You're single. I see they've been coming in and going out. Coming and going. And coming and going. And part of the reason is you need to shut the door and be serious with God. That's what the Lord said to tell you. What's your name? Patience what? Ai. Ai Dero. Uh, is that a do? All right. Blessings on you. I pull you out of the life you have known. Uh, you have sisters. One sister. She's not married. She's married. Because I see, I see some of the things you're experiencing is collective issue. From today, a change comes to your life. And the testimony follows you. Favor upon your life. I break you from the limitations you have seen. And the challenges you have known. God fills your mouth with laughter. In Jesus name. In the name of Jesus. That man there, come. What's your name, sir? The man in the... No, you with the crocodile Lacoste. The man with the Lacoste shirt. Yeah, is that a Lacoste? Yeah, it's a Lacoste. What's your name? Huh? Joe, please play the keyboard for me. How long have you been coming here? Huh? Joe. Is this your first time here or how long have you been coming? First time. You've been coming once in a while. When you are in town. Yeah, because you see. You have a family? Do you have a family? Are they here tonight? Is your wife here? Okay. Lord, turn things around for Joe. 
is being in a place where things are stagnant and it's not moving forward to the level that he desires. Today I pull him out of limitation. Pull him out of challenges. I pull him into a new season. I pull him into a new life. I pull him into a new direction. I pull him into a new meaning. In the name of Jesus. Bless him beyond measure. Wipe his tears. Jesus name. Look at me Joe. The Lord said to let you know. You don't look at the people who disappoint you about Jesus. You look at him. Because you are too much like, look at that one. He says he's a Christian. Look at that. Looking unto Jesus. Don't develop critical spirit. Just focus on Jesus. Because you're about to enter a new season. And it's going to be a great one. God bless you. Father, bless these people one more time. Let there be a lifting in their life. We thank you. Jesus name. God bless you. You may go back to your seat. Give the Lord a big off clap offering tonight. Give the Lord praise. Come on. Give him praise. Give the Lord a mighty praise. Give the Lord a mighty praise. Tonight, I'd like to share with you the word of the Lord from the book of Luke. Luke chapter 5. Luke chapter 5 from verse 1 to 11. Luke chapter 5 from verse 1 to 11 again. I celebrate, I appreciate the opportunity to come and minister. I trust the Lord that everyone in the house will be blessed tonight. Somebody here, get ready to have a testimony. Get ready for God to turn something around in your life. So it was, as the multitude pressed about him to hear the word of the Lord, that he stood by the gate, lake of Gennesaret. He saw two boats standing by the lake. But the fishermen had gone from them and were washing their nets. Then he got into one of the boats, which was Simon's, and asked him to put out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the multitude from the boat. When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Ah, from today, God is delivering you from a toiling spirit. I said, God is delivering you from a toiling spirit. Amen. Nevertheless, at that word, I will let down the net. And when they had gone, done this, they caught a great number of fish and their net was breaking. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both the boats so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man. For he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish which they had taken. And so also were James and John, the son of Zebedee, who were partners. And Jesus said to Simon, do not be afraid. From now on you will catch men. May God bless his word. I said, may God bless his word. I said, may God bless his word. I have a very strong assignment to some people, maybe not everybody in this service today. But I came today, you've been hearing of success, but I have a word the Lord has given me. This is probably the second or third church I will ever preach it in my life. It is a message on exponential success. The kind of success that is more than the regular. How many are ready for that level of success? I came tonight to push you into that testimony. And you will enter it. I say one more time, you will enter it. God is bringing you out of the days of sorrows, the days of pain, the days of shame, the days of limitation. God is bringing you into the season of testimony, into the season of favor, in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe it, shout, I receive it. Jesus showed up by the lake of Gennesaret. He needed to preach the, to the crowd. Peter had his boat. He tried all night and did not catch anything until Jesus now showed up. He tried all night. The Bible says he tried all night and did not catch anything. Then Jesus showed up and they were washing the net. I came tonight. Somebody is here and you have been toiling and toiling. Nigeria is a nation where if you don't have the grace of God, you can toil and toil in spite of your master's degree, first degree, whatever. But I came and I break the spirit of toiling. I break the spirit of toiling. 
every toiling spirit that makes a man work so hard and he has nothing to show. You go to some people's house after 40 years working for Port's Authority. There is nothing in the house except one television that has his own mind. Sometimes the television no go work. Sometimes it go work. They have a fridge where they change gear in the middle of the night. That's all they have after 40 years. Listen, by the anointing of Jesus on my life, I break the toiling spirit. Tonight is a combine of a preach and a prophetic word. So you need to know how to connect to it. I break the toiling spirit. 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 Walking hard with nothing to show. Open your hand. Wherever you are today, God will bless your hands. Deuteronomy 28 from verse 5 to 12 says he will bless the work of your hand. He will bless your basket. He will bless your storehouse. May God bless the work of your hand. I said may God bless the work of your hand. May he bless your basket. May he bless your storehouse. Toiling spirits. Ah, today I declare and decree God is separating you from toiling. Amen. Toiling spirit. You find nowadays there are people who are becoming dollar millionaires before they are 30. On my phone today, something pop up. Young men under 30 who are now billionaires in dollars. And there's somebody is working so hard and they have nothing to show. It's a spirit. Peter said, We have toiled. We have toiled. And you know some people, they boast though. They say, ah, you see me walk like this, eh? Go, no, say, I, I know the joke. is a lying spirit. Tonight, that thing that I've made you to work so hard, and you have nothing to show for it, I break it from your life. I break it from your life. I break it from your life. He said, we have toiled all night. Night is a symbol of evil. Night is a symbol of darkness. Night is a symbol of limitation. In every culture and every continent, in Europe, in Africa, in Asia, and the Middle East, night is a symbol of when things are not working. Today, on this altar, I declare and decree anyone in their night season, you are coming out of it. Whether you are in the overflow, or you are watching by television or by uh, by streaming wherever you are the night season is over the darkness 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 is over it's over from today it's over from today in the name of jesus toiling spirits can be on a family they work so hard they have nothing to show i don't know which family you come from but i had uncles who were hard farmers if they shake you your hand go ah your hand will it will pain you you'll be wondering whether an iron shake you but they have nothing to show for it no one graduates from the family I came from. I had to be the first person to ever have a degree. They all had a toiling spirit. It's a spirit. My grandfather was so poor that he gave away two of his sons as indentured slaves. Indentured slavery, Iwofa in Yoruba, is to give your son to go and serve in exchange for the money you borrowed. If you don't pay, the sons will die there. My grandfather had to give away two of his sons. He's a spirit and he held my whole family. Everyone was in collective captivity. Toiling and they thought. And you know Peter too. Grandfather was a fisherman. His parents were into fishing. Peter too was into fishing. And so this day when Jesus showed. They've been at the place all night and did not catch a fish. And now Jesus showed up. He's here tonight. Someone is coming out of toiling. You are coming out of toiling. I said you are coming out of toiling. The night is over in your life. The power of the night is over in your life. 
the power of the night is over in your life Amen. if you believe it say i receive it i receive it i pray for somebody here today the vision you've never had the dreams you've never fulfilled the favor you've never received is coming into your hand Amen. the testimony you've never given she will give it from this year Amen. the breakthrough you have never seen you will see it from this year Amen. glory is coming to your house Amen. favor is coming to your house Amen. testimony is coming to your house Amen. breakthrough is coming to your house Amen. if you believe shout i receive it, I receive it. jesus the man was told by Jesus after Jesus finished preaching. Jesus told him, throw your nets there. Ah, he said, we have toiled all night and did not catch anything. But nevertheless, oh Yabosha, at thy word. Why? Because the word of God can never fail. Nevertheless, at thy word. Tonight, as I speak the word of exponential success, it shall rest on your household. Amen. It shall rest on your life. Amen. It shall rest on your business. Amen. From today, you move. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Shout amen like fire. Amen. Jesus said to him, Throw your nets there. Many of us are putting our nets in the wrong place. Jesus was specific. And Peter looked at Jesus. When Jesus told him to throw the net, Peter looked at Jesus like, Oga, I don't say you be preacher, I don't say you be Jesus. But you see this job where they do. My grandpapa do and my papa do. Once you don't scatter water from night till morning, you don't go to catch anything. Everything moves in classes. That's what is known as the pride of lions. They move as a group. That's what is called the pack of wolves. And when it comes to fish, they call it school. The school of fish have closed. They've gone. You now told him to throw the net. But the word of the Lord cannot fail. The flower fades, the grass withers. The word of the Lord abides forever. I'm watching over my word to perform it. I came from London to say to someone, all those years of toiling one day of turnaround is coming Amen. one day of a turnaround is coming Amen. the season of a turnaround is coming Amen. the change is coming Amen. your testimony is coming Amen. i'd like you to shout i receive it i receive it Jesus looked at him after he said, Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the nets. And Jesus told him where to let down the net. He told him, Throw your nets in the deep. There! Listen, you don't go everywhere. You have to be where the miracle is. And I believe somebody is where the miracle is. These seven days of glory will deliver uncommon testimony to you. Amen. It will deliver uncommon testimony to you. Amen. You will have your landmark of testimony. Amen. You will tell your testimony. Amen. You say this one came during 7 DG. Amen. That one came during 7 DG. Amen. I prayed for it during 7 DG. Amen. And it's manifested later. Amen. Come and say, I receive. Receive. I receive. I receive. Jesus told him, throw your nets there. And Peter looked at Jesus. Jesus, they are where you are saying, we have scattered all those places, but you see the one who stood by the lake of Gennesaret on that day, is the one whose word is a creative word. He sent his word. He sent his word. And his word healed their diseases. The word of God never comes back void. So, Halikai Remo Tali Remo when Jesus said, throw your nets there, if there was no fish there, the one who spoke is the creator. Every fish in every sea, in every river, heard the word of Jesus. They called a meeting within seconds. What would I do? Maybe I give that place rushing, rushing, 
rushing, make a rush. All the fishes in Nile, Niger, Senegal, Congo, Orange, Limpopo. I know say when I go know I know say when I go remember. All the fishes in the African River, they rush. All the ones in the Middle East, they rushed. Ah, Irante, Ibruzia. Somebody's looking at your life. They can't see how your miracle will come. They can't see how your testimony will come. They can't see how your favor will come. But I came all the way to declare to you, your miracle is on the way. Your favor is on the way. The testimony is on the way. Your glory is on the way. Your blessing is on the way. Shout amen three times. Put your hands together, give God the biggest break. Sit down, sit down. Problem with many believers is that they'll come to a program like this, 7DG, they forget that it's a prophetic meeting. They'll just go and be talking, ah! Now, wow, that meeting has something. Okay? That, that, you know, those, Judy K, Bola G, ah! Now, wow! They say, how about the preacher? Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. They say, what thing they say? Ah, they talk a lot of things. Don't forget, we know no say. This is not an ordinary service. Maybe you thought it's ordinary. No one could heal those people who came to the front without the power of God. If the anointing did not show, there's nothing we can do. So when Jesus is there, many are toiling where God didn't send them. You will not waste your days. Amen. You will not waste your years. Amen. You will not waste your energy. Amen. You will not waste your life. Amen. Your morning will be beautiful. Amen. Your afternoon will be glorious. Amen. Your evening will be powerful. Amen. I said your morning will be glorious. Amen. Your afternoon will be beautiful. Amen. Your evening will be powerful. Amen. Somebody say, I receive it. I receive it. Jesus said, throw your nets there. Why there? Because that's where the Lord is. And where the word of the Lord is, there's liberty. Where the word of the Lord is, there's breakthrough. Where the word of the Lord is, God delivers favor into your hand. He told them, he said, go and spoil the Egyptians tomorrow. Slaves turn to the boss. Hey, give me your gold. Or oh, God, collect the gold. Give them. Because favor went with them. Tell now somebody's here. Where your blessing is, the location, you will not miss it. Hey, hey. I said you will not miss it. Hey, you will not miss it. Hey, you know, that, this one connect with yesterday. I had not seen. Ear had not. There are parents in those days when we never, when we did young. Every parent want their children to be doctor or accountant or lawyer. You know, be those ones, they will look at you like, say, so what thing you can't read? They don't know, say, those things, they are, they are launch pads. They are not destiny. They are not destiny. In fact, we are now beginning to discover, because I teach a lot of wealth creation. People who create wealth easily are those who did not go to all those schools. The house is waiting for this worry. Now, when Baba Mulika, they build them for people. Contractor. If they make more money than all those managers, apology to our pastor who is a whole director in the bank. Who, you go to some banks, like you see the manager, like you go, fear. Money no day in bank account. Too. But when you see Thai, ah, you go, fear. Destiny is what matters. Said, there. Oh, there's someone here today. You will find your there. Amen. You will connect with your there. Amen. You will enter your there. Amen. You will operate in your there. Amen. You will enter your there. Amen. You will be there. Amen. You will be there. Amen. You will be there. Amen. Shout amen like fire. Amen. There's power in there. God told Elijah, go to Zarephath, for there I've commanded a widow to feed you. He said, go to the brook, Cherith, for there I've commanded a raven to feed you. Even when he told him to go to the brook, Cherith, 
Elijah had gone to Jerusalem. That is the problem. There are too many misplacements. People are misplacing themselves. They just hear that everybody, they go one place, they jump. They don't realize that you need to connect with the place called there. Haya, Tosikia. During this conference, heaven will visit you. Amen. Your empty boat will be blessed. Amen. Your empty life will be blessed. Amen. Glory will come to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The passage which we read tonight, Jesus told him, throw your nets in the deep. Someone say deep. Say it again, deep. Now when he had left speaking, he said, Simon, launch out into the deep. Too many of us are moving with shallow people. Shallow, shallow. The five people closest to you determine who you become. So, if you are poor, look at the five people around you. If you are wealthy, look at the five people around you. It's a principle. The five people closest to you are an image of where you are going. So, if you are sitting with your person who you came with, ask them, are you going where I'm going? Throw your nets in the deep. Every shallow person who is not going where you're going, God will cut them out of your journey. Some of us are connected to shallow things. Shallow. You hear people talk like this. With all due respect, you hear some of our politicians talk. Ah! You'll be shocked. Shocked. They are worried about which way cow will follow. When people that age are creating satellites, are producing electric car, are solving global problem. You are worried about where cow will follow. Shallow. 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 And God help you if you are following a shallow person. Because where will shallow people take you? Shallow. Ah, on a day here now, when I be delta people, you won't catch big fish. You don't go stay for the gutter where they near your house now. If you, if you see fish for your gutter, even if you see anything there now, frog. Not only frog you go see there. You won't see big fish. <laughs> Carry boat, go to the middle of the waters. Jesus said, the deep. Ah, from today, the deeper things, the greater things, the best things are coming into your life. Amen. Deep people are coming into your life. Amen. Deep blessings are coming into your life. Amen. Deep opportunities are coming into your life. Amen. Great relationships are coming into your life. Amen. Great faith. Is coming into your life. Amen. If you believe it, say I receive it. I receive it. Say it one more time, I receive it. I, receive it. I stand on this altar today and I declare somebody's having a turnaround. Amen. Look at your neighbor, tell them change is coming. Change is coming. And it won't be long. Change is coming. Change is coming. And it won't be long. Hold on, my brother. Change is coming, change is coming, and it won't be long. Hallelujah. Hey! Throw your nets in the deep. And I'm sure you're asking why. Because Peter must have looked at Jesus. He sized Jesus up. Maybe you didn't know. In the natural, Peter was older than Jesus. Jesus was only 30 when he started his ministry. Peter was older. Peter was older. The only person whose age was close to Jesus was John. Every other person was older than Jesus. So he looked at Jesus like, okay, all right. I should throw my nets. What do you know about fishing? What do you know about fishing? But he said, nevertheless, listen, listen. When you reach a place where you don't know what to do, when you reach that season when you're married, you don't know what to do. When you read the place where in your business you don't know what to do. When you read that place in your life where you don't know what to do. 
hold on to the nevertheless at thy word. 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 Nevertheless. Change will come to you. Hey, hey. Turn around will come to your life. Hey, hey. I said, turn around will come to your life. Hey, hey. And I prophesied to you that it won't be long. Hey, hey. I said, it won't be long. Hey, hey. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hey, hey. Peter said, uh, we told all night long, but nevertheless, at that word, I will let down the net. Why? Because when you obey the word of the Lord, there will be a divine turnaround. Second Chronicles 20 verse 26. And many times, instruction of the Lord does not make natural sense. Because it didn't come from natural sense. It came from the realm of the spirit. And on the fourth day, they were assembled together in the valley of Berakah. For there they blessed the Lord. Therefore, the name of the same place was called the valley of Beracha, until this day, Beracha means blessing. They are going to meet three nations to fight them. Three nations that have conquered everyone. And God told them, don't carry any army. Just put choir in front of me singing. Praise ye the Lord for his mercy and joy forever and ever. Praise ye the Lord for his mercy and joy forever and ever. Praise ye the Lord. For his mercy and joy forever and ever. Praise ye the Lord. For his mercy and joy forever and ever. Praise ye the Lord. I'm sure the other people they are going to meet are looking at them like, when I they joke, when you not think they will be? When I come fight, when I they sing, tell you to sing war song. We are soldiers fighting for the Lord. My mother, do not worry. My father, do not worry. If I happen to die in the battlefield, never mind. When I come and sing, praise ye the Lord for his mercy and joy forever and ever. Praise ye the Lord for his mercy. For his mercy, God will confuse your enemies. 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 Shout amen like fire. Hallelujah. So I said, I've got to finish this message. I have a few times left. Suddenly. <laughs> Someone say suddenly. suddenly. Say it again, suddenly. suddenly. The grip of failure was broken in Peter's life. Because as he pulled the net, <laughs> the school of fishes have closed. And he was washing his nets. Go back to that verse which says they were washing their net. Let me to look for that verse that says they are washing their net. Washing their net. They're washing their net. Too many people in worry in Delta, in Nigeria, no job. So they go to wash net. To show say then they do something. You say, What are you doing? I say, I'm busy, oh, I'm busy. What are you doing? He's washing empty nets. You see some people like this, they dress in the morning, come jam road with traffic. Just washing nets. And saw two ships by the lake but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their net empty just washing net just action without result I washing net you see some people there are churches that are washing net no result you see some building like this they will fear you you go fear them nobody did there in fact when I was driving around worry, I just said, the fool here. Washing net. God delivers you from that spirit. Hey, hey. You will not wash empty nets. Hey, hey. You will not be in action without results. Hey, hey. You will not be in action without results. Hey, hey. 
favor will follow you Amen. results will follow you Amen. glory will follow you Amen. tonight on this altar by the mantle of Jesus on my life I don't know who it is single plural woman man married single boy girl I break the grip of failure Amen. 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 from tonight you will be a stranger to failure Amen. you will be a stranger to failure Amen. you'll be a stranger to failure Amen. You'll be a stranger to failure. 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 Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Sit down, sit down. How do you get exponential success? You've done everything. You think that maybe not worry. And sometimes nobody in the town. Now the spirit where they walk around you. Because you feel day in the town where many people don't see many things. But when you are connected with the anointing, things work. Why are some people not succeeding? How do you experience exponential success? Number one, whatever Jesus says, do it. Look at your neighbor, tell him, just do it. Say it louder, just do it. just do it. This is not Nike now, this is Jesus. Someone say, just do it. And the mother of Jesus said to them, whatever he says to you, do it. John 2 verse 5. Number two, understand the walking of the spirit. Yesterday we saw that if you want to see what eyes don't see and ears don't hear, you walk with the spirit. Same thing. Peter in the natural knows that when the school of fishes are broken, they are gone, you can't catch a fish. But because the one who spoke, Ayarota, Hireboroshi, Leribu Kaskalidi, he said the words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. Understand the working of the spirit. Number three, ah yeah, poko He said, put your nets there, there. Somebody say positioning. Say it again, positioning. Say it louder, positioning. Everyone, where they this church, you they one little corner, you they open one with provision shop, and you they sell uh, dundu, you they sell boli, and you they sell provision. That's not enough. You need more rivers. Adam was given four rivers. Dankote has 53 rivers. Are you considering with one river? You they blow fire for Dundu, blow fire for Boili. And you they say, I want to be a billionaire, billionaire. <laughs> Dangote o Lori Meji, Lori Meji. You they blow Dundu. Your position no correct, you need to change position. I hope I can correct you tonight. Four rivers. Now you Adam get. God sees a one river, no two. He give Adam four. Then go to get 53. You go sit down with Bolly. They blow Bolly fire. They sing. I want to be a billionaire. Billionaire. How many Bolly you want to sell? Don't worry. Very soon I will go back to London. If I get you offended. But see, I'm also part to be here to get you offended so you can move. Somebody scream, we move. We move. We move. So when Jesus told him, throw your nets there, Jesus was teaching him positioning. 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 Some people are gifted, but in the wrong position. You will not be mislocated. Amen. You will not be mislocated. Amen. Because you need the right location to connect your allocation. Are you with me this morning, this evening? Then, don't block a lifetime instruction. Pastor can stand up on Sunday and, and, and give a lifetime instruction. That looks like, hey, again, eh? Which did pastor talk this morning? He's talked about a sacrificial seed. And Holy Ghost come begin to tell you, say, you see all that way you think, say, you get for that, you're saving account. 
go bring them up, put them on altar. Up. Come they look, say, we can instruction be this. Now everything I get. Don't block a lifetime instruction. Peter could have missed it. You know, Jesus just said it nicely. Throw your nets there. He didn't know it was going to be the instruction that would turn his life. Number five. Number five. Put the scripture where Jesus said they should throw their nets for me on the screen. Please help me to put it. Now when he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, launch out into the deep. You're about to see a revelation. Someone say revelation. revelation. Say it again, revelation. revelation. Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a draught. Nets. 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 Is that singular or plural? Nets. Then Peter answered, when Simon Peter saw he fell down on the street, no, 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 go back to where he said, nevertheless at thy word. Let's go back to the place where I said, nevertheless at thy word. He said, we've told all night long, we did not catch anything. No, nevertheless at thy word, I will lay down the net. Jesus said, nets. He let down the net. If he had let down nets, they will have been full. But he let down the net. Sit down beside Dundu. And singing to himself. I want to be a billionaire. Jesus said net. He dropped one net. Some of us, we are still carrying the wash nets around. We say, it's washed too. Can't, I don't want to make it dirty. Put the thing in the water. You see, carrying it around. Now, a clean net we want or a walking net. Nets. Put one net. Tonight, I want you to know your actions dictate your size. Nets. Don't be jealous at my prosperity. I threw nets. This church is a church of nets. Ah! From tonight, somebody's story is changing. Hey, hey. Your story is changing. Your story is changing. Let me wrap up this message very quickly. Let me wrap up this message quickly. I said your story is changing. Your story is changing. He threw the net. As he began to pull, Ayakaro said, the net was too full. Before he threw the net, when there was no fish, and they told all night and they were washing the net, the boys were hired to work for him. They don't work about. I be no go pay us. Ah, we go pay you. Nobody me say make fish no come home. And if not Lagos boys, I better borrow me that your bottle with the ground there. Yeah. If not Lagos boys, they don't break bottle. Oh God, I just break the bottle. Boa. Something go happen here today. Because nobody me talks to me fish no come. When you hire me, you say na so and so I might go pay me. Oh God, go pay. Go pay. They don't they work all over. Peter don't they fear. As then they watch the net, they don't know what they go do. When Jesus comes saying one use the net, he they use and take distract the boys. Boys no move. Oh. They no move. The boys no move. Then they ready. Ah! But God stepped in for Peter. God will step in for you. 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 He threw the nets in the water. He pulled the nets. He couldn't pull alone. The boys who had no job, he hired them back. God is about to give you new staff, Amen. new employees, Amen. a bigger business, Amen. a greater business. Amen. Shout, I receive it. He and his employees, they pull, they don't fit pull. 
Peter began to hire everybody by the riverside. Hey, level two, level one, he rehired his staff. Level two, now he can hire everybody. And he beckoned unto all their partners. Put that verse. And he beckoned on all the partners, which are in the other ships, that they should come and help. They came with their ships. Empty net. Empty boat. Now the net is filled. His boat is filled. His staff is hired. Then he hired the people around. He said, you want to walk? Things have changed for me. You want to walk? God has visited my house. You want to walk? Level don't change. You don't walk? You want to walk? We are moving. We are moving. We are moving. We are moving. Every ship in town began to say, Peter, you won't hire me. Ah, okay, come, come, come. Peter, you won't hire me. Everybody was joining. And every ship from zero to hero. All in one day. And then look at something. Put that verse back. For he was astonished at what the... No, when you hire those partners, put it back, the one. The Bible says, and they came, they filled both ships, but the ship began to sink, and the boat and the net began to break. I pray for champions, cathedral members, everyone connected, receive a net breaking breakthrough. Hey, hey. Receive a boat sinking favor. Hey. A net breaking breakthrough. Amen. A boat sinking favor. Amen. Exponential success. Amen. From nothing to glory. Amen. From nothing to favor. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every small net you have, God is cheering it up. Amen. God is giving you a bigger net. Amen. A greater net. Amen. A bigger net, a bigger ship, a bigger ship, bigger platform, bigger capacity, bigger net. In the name of Jesus, God is increasing you. Your net is breaking. Your net is breaking. A woman in this service, God will give you a net breaking testimony. A net breaking testimony. A net breaking testimony. A net breaking testimony. Get ready for too much. Shout, I receive it. Shout again, I receive it. I lay hands on you today. Exponential success rests on you. Favor like you have never known rests on you. Glory like you have never known rests on you. Amen. Testimony like you have never known rests on you. Amen. Shout amen three times. Amen. 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 Remain standing, remain standing, remain standing. I have uh, one minute, ten seconds left. Remain standing. Let me show you another level. How many are going for exponential? Look at where he started. From everything gone wrong. Staff don't break bottle. One chukam. They want to They will keep it at their boys of their eye don't red. We don't know what they drink that day. They don't ready to fight. And God stepped in for Peter. Oh, you will not be put to shame. Hey, hey. You will not be disappointed. Hey, hey. I said you will not be put to shame. Hey, hey. But one more level of exponential success. John chapter 21, from verse 7 to 11, Jesus rises from the dead and he comes to the disciples by the sea. They are, they are trying to catch fish. Go to the verse, I think it is where it says they caught 152, 153 fishes. 153 fishes. I don't know which verse it is. Simon Peter went up, drew the net to the land full of great fishes. 153. And for all there were so many, yet the net did not break. Did you see this one? First time he encountered Jesus, what happened? The net broke. The level of broke. 
But this time, even though the fishes were those, hey, one time I go by, yes, I go preach. One fish they give me like this. Now, like three feet old. Oh, get Yoruba land, I never said I can fish before. One fish. So this net, put the scripture on, caught 153. And the net did not break. Someone is in this service today. God is taking you to a place of 153 companies. Amen. 153 breakthroughs. Amen. 153 open doors. Amen. 153 testimonies. Amen. Mega breakthrough. Amen. Mega success. Amen. Exponential success. Amen. Exponential increase. Amen. A level you've never entered before. Amen. A level you've never reached before. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Shout amen like fire. Amen. Put that scripture on again. I want you to notice one more thing. When Jesus stepped into his boat the first time, Jesus was starting his ministry. But here, Jesus just rose from the dead. So the power that rose Jesus from the dead was at work on this day. This time it was resurrection power. It was such a power that shook everything. Ah, worry will hear from you. Hey, hey. Nigeria will hear from you. Hey, Africa will hear from you. Hey, Nations will hear from you. Hey, Exponential success Amen. will be your portion. Amen. If you believe it, shout, I receive it. I receive it. Tonight, things are turning around for your life. Amen. Glory is coming to your house. Amen. Favor is coming to your house. Amen. Remain standing. I'm about to hand over the microphone. Remain standing. Remain standing. I noticed one young man, he was here yesterday. He would travel anywhere and preach it anywhere for the past 10 years you just show up it may be one night he was here yesterday as i was going out i saw him greeted him briefly i'm not sure i, I don't think he went past secondary school but something something made him to connect to the grace of god on my life he has about a thousand of my messages but three years ago or four Three years ago, I went to preach in Port Harcourt where he resides. He's in KRCC Port Harcourt now. And they begged me. They said, he has built an estate. They want me to pray over it. I said, okay. Put a seed in my hand. I held the seed. Went to the site. I saw 20 houses. Each one is about 100 million household. This guy no go past secondary. He's just a man who he believed in grace. And he was eating the grace. I'll be preaching in Abuja. I see Ken in the service. Uh -huh. You follow me here. I'll be preaching in Lagos. He'll be there. I'll be preaching in Onicha. He's there. I was in Aba in April. He was there. I went back to Aba again. Sometimes he was there again. Uh -huh. That, as I was praying over the 20 houses, the Spirit of the Lord just took me out of the place and showed me a land that was a, a swamp full of water in the middle of Potakot and said it belongs to Ken. He said, tell him it is his. It shall come into his hand. It will be enough to want to make him afraid. He must not be afraid. I didn't know when I was prophesying it was recording. I went back January last year he said, I want you to follow me to the land you prophesied. They drove me to the to inside town. 75 acres. 600 plots. This is exponential success. 600 plots in, inside town. Water go like this. Ah, I said this one could make man fear. It's just that the Lord has spoken from day one that I should not be afraid. So I prayed and left. I went back again to pray over that place early this month. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? God has prospered his hand. He bought a $2 million machine 
that have pumped 75 acres of sand. People are now approaching him with 15 billion naira. He did not go past secondary school. Because when God wants to give you exponential success, it's not just education alone. It is just God. That is one of many testimonies I can give. But Ken's own was the freshest that I can remember. It just happened. I was standing on that land early this month. I was standing on that land. 75 acres old. Government don't they talk with them old. So the oil and gas company are saying, can we buy, if we can buy the whole, can we buy one third from you? Because the potential, now is, is beach what is beach land. Beach land. We're living by the waters. That's how I live in Lagos. Pastor has been to my house. It's a small house, Abby. But uh, I live by the beach. I walk into the waters from my house. That's what God gave me, 75 acres. I'm looking at Ken like this. I'm looking at the land. I'm looking at Ken. Then I remembered 153 fishes that did not break the net. My time is up, but I declare to your life 153 fishes that will not break the net. They are coming into your hands. Unusual testimony is coming into your hands. Your hands will be profitable. Amen. Receive exponential success. Amen. Exponential breakthrough. Amen. Abundance from above. Amen. The works of your hand will succeed. Amen. The testimony of Jesus will be awesome in your life. Amen. Ah! Peter was not stranded. You will not be stranded. Amen. That last minute breakthrough that wiped the tears of Peter and made him an employer of other people. That kind of breakthrough is resting on your life. Hey, hey. Somebody is in this service. This is the conference that will launch you to your destiny. Hey, hey. You will testify. Hey, hey. You will testify. Hey, hey. You will testify Amen. in the name of Jesus. 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 Amen. If you were blessed and I give the Lord the biggest praise. Come on. Hallelujah. You've got a glory. Lord, we thank you for your word. Let the word abide with your people. Let it bear fruit, 34, 60 fold, 100 fold. Let it take them from levels to levels. Exponential success beyond their own dream and imagination. In Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. Please be seated. Just one few minutes to invite those who have not received Christ. Everyone be seated. If you're in this service today and you're saying, Pastor Matthew, please pray for me. There's never been a day I received Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Please, please, Pastor, pray for me. I want to receive Jesus into my heart. You see, no Jesus, no life. No Jesus, no hope. No Jesus, no direction. No Jesus, no meaning to life. I cannot forget the day I received Christ into my heart. I was 20 years old. So if you are in this service, I say, Pastor Matthew, please pray for me. I want him to come. I want Jesus to come into my heart. Come out quickly. I'll pray for you. And then I'll hand over the microphone. Come out quick. Don't wait for anybody. Come to the front here. I want to pray for you by myself. Come, come, come quick. Yes. Praise the Lord for you. God bless you. God bless you, my brother. I'm waiting for everyone else who is saying, pray for me. Wherever you are, just get up and come to the front. I want to do this just for two, three minutes. If you are not here on time, I'm going to pray for whoever is in front. Wherever you are, come out. I'm waiting for you. Come quickly, come quickly, come quickly, come quickly. Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. Sin has left a crimson stain. He washed me white as snow. Jesus and Bobo, Bese Timuje. 
Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. Sin has left a crimson stain. He washed me white as snow. Wherever you are, I'm about to pray now. You need to come quick, my friends. I was 20 the day I gave my life to Christ. 20. 21 when he called me. 22 when I went to Bible school. Wherever you are, come out quickly. No Jesus, no lie. No Jesus, no lie. Oh, ho, ho. no Jesus, no lie. Help me now. No Jesus, no lie. No lie. I'm waiting for you. No. Come quick wherever you are. Come, 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 come. No, Jesus. No hey. Oh, no. No, Jesus. No All of you who are in front, this is the most important decision you will ever make. The decision to receive Christ into your heart. And I'd like you to say this simple prayer after me. Everyone who's in front. I want the whole church to say the prayer. If you are coming, you need to come quick. I know many of you are in the overflow. And you're saying, Pastor Matt, you pray for me. Come quick, come quick, come quick. I'm going to count from one to five. If you are coming, you need to be here. And I'm going to pray. Come quick, quick. No, Jesus, no lie. What? No, Jesus, no lie. One, I'm counting. I'm about to pray. No. No Two, I'm counting. Oh, no, Three, I'm no, counting. Jesus, no lie. Four, I'm counting. Come quick. No, Jesus, no lie. Five. Oh, no, no, if you are coming, you need to run now because no I'm about to pray. Come quick. All of you where I'm from, look at me. Look at me. Calling Jesus into your heart is the most important decision you will ever make. The decision to go to school or get married or do anything good, or, but nothing is as important as receiving Christ. And you're going to say this prayer with me. The whole church will say the prayer, but I want you in front to mean it with all your heart. Please say after me, Lord Jesus. I'm sorry for my sin. I ask you to forgive me now. Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me. Come into my heart. Come and live in my heart. Help me to live my life for you. Wash me with your blood. Make me your child. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I pray for these men and women that they will be true to the decision they've made. They will surrender to your will, your purpose, your counsel. Uphold them by your mighty power. Break the power of Satan, the power of sin in their life. Do a new work in their lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Look at me, my friends. From today, Jesus does not just live in heaven. He lives in your heart. He lives in your heart from today and don't let anybody condemn you somebody do something you come get angry say, oh maybe jesus no come out he did your heart you just need time to grow don't worry this church they go call you or they go follow you or make you not give them one funny address you did for a phone you say you did man make you not do that one you've got one package this blessing 
You say you did a phone, and angel carry and go a phone, you did for a pan. Come, become back to, to sender. Ah, you let your blessing be back to sender. Look at that man way they back there. In the carry uh, plaque. So when I go follow him, they go talk to you, take your address. Please follow him. Follow him. Give them a good God bless. Motin Rope. Orangina. Shubaniba. TJ Sude. Lauron Tide. No one coming. Ayonila. Timo Jesu. Hallelujah. Ayoloje. Bemo Tiri. Dari Chiba. Ibi Kibi. Timo Bawa. Gose Wuje. Suwa. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.